Oh, you guys. I haven't figured out how to use it. I mean, oh, now you know. Oh, the tea. I know I'm late. Mom. Let's see what this, this water's still good, sorry. I made a second sink. And here, you can kind of see me, right? Plus it's fine. Maybe I don't need to be seen. Well, what do I look like? Is it too close? Is everyone terrified? Yeah, I am. Okay. And here I'm not. <laughs> now you can't see me. Ah, yes, it works better when the microphone is on. There we go. Now we have some sound. I think. Do we? 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 Do we have sound? Oh shoot! I forgot to put the chat thing up. Sorry. Where's my chat? Okay. Have you got sound on the harp microphone? Oh, you don't have sound on the harp microphone. Hold on. Apologies. Oh god. I broke it. Oh no. Up mic. Oh god. Oh no. What? Have you got any sound? Oh no! That's the wrong microphone! Well, it looks like we're staying late today. Game. Click, clicky click that. Clicky click that. Oh, hello! Oh no! Wait, you can't be the Yeti! You're too loud! Everything super loud. Oh my god. I broke it! Why is everything super loud? Can I turn that mic down? Oh my god. Sorry, I'm breaking stuff. Ah, Z R M K. It's okay. It's a nail. Guys are the guys over. So, mm. William, check we have William. These guys. Okay, help Mike. I'm gonna turn your volume up a little bit. Thank you, Jin Jin.
the ooh, sorry, microphone. Me fix you. Okay. Are you okay? Stop tipping forward. All right. Jin Jin, that's lovely. You just lurk away. That's fine. Um. Okay. So I have the music here. I'll turn up the brightness a little bit. I want to do automatic scene switcher, but I don't know how. Let's listen to some music while I think about stuff. Can we still hear me? Uh, right, let's start with left hand, okay? I'm gonna go down here.
Where are you going? Transition. I'm sorry. Let's go down here and do it. Technical issues today, everybody.
So then, from here, we have this lovely Place to the B. I'm hesitant to put this camera on because I'm really scared that people will call me ugly. After I play this, I place on the A, on the A, and the F. And here, I'm going to place
want to switch every minute or something? I'm just really self-conscious, like someone's going to come in my chat and say, gosh, you're an ugly bitch, or something like that, you know? That, that's what scares me a little bit. Hmm, hold on a second.
Okay, so I should move I should move the camera over a little weeny tiddly piddly smishy poo. Hmm. Okay, from here. I'll just stream two. Hello. Take away a hundred from here. That's a little better, right? Oh, phew. Dear, that's not what I wanted. I want automated transitions, sillies. How do I put a timer on these transitions? Transition settings. Do a thingy.
this time. We'll do it next stream. I should call myself Deadly Headly. Oh, I'm so fat! I'm I'm still fat. Oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I'm just not cl used to seeing myself so close up. All right, let's do the uh, the right hand. This will this will be way more fun because I don't know what we're doing with the right hand. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Don't come off. One. Don't place that finger. One. Oh, what you doing? Start again. Would you like some more mic volume on the harp or is it loud enough? Are you getting that resonance? Going. <laughs> 
there. Extra pedal. Wow. You're gonna play. You're gonna play G and D. And then we're gonna play. People are like, what is she doing with her face? Well, I'm smiling. I'm trying to, I'm doing it on purpose to get over my nerves. So I'm going to be talking a lot of rubbish and complaining a lot. But I think it's important that I force myself to do it. To show my whole face on camera. To, to get used to people scrutinizing me. I'm smiling. <laughs> I look like a knob. What are you doing, stupid fingers? D for dummy, which is what you are. Keep it curved.
you going? Where are you going, moron?
Trying to change the pedal, that's not a pedal. Did you see that? I'm pushing down on the leg of the harp. Like, come on, come on, change. But it wasn't a pedal, it's just the harp foot. Oh my gosh, I'm getting scatty. Guess who's coming to visit today? That's right, Bootsy Bug. Bootsy will be arriving this afternoon. In person for my performance. Yeah, he's he's coming for my performance. Cause um it'll be nice to have a familiar a familiar person there. Uh so I don't get too nervous. Cause I don't play in front of my family. They don't want they don't my family don't care about my playing, so you know they they let me play all day, but they don't listen or anything, so it'll be nice to have somebody there that I know who will help me feel less nervous in front of 1,100 people. Um, you know what? I think I am going to stream. I'm going to 
give him my phone and we're gonna stream from my phone. And uh, and and Bootsy can hold the phone. Yeah. That'll be the Saturday night event. All right, it's six. It's, it's going to be from about 5.30, uh, about 5.30, um, central time, yeah, so. I have to cancel the other streams and uh, I'll make a note that it's a special event stream. Um, yeah. Oh, what has my computer done now? Don't you dare. What was that? Seven new notifications. Norton Security Extra, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh, you're installing an update. Really? I didn't ask for one. Go away. Go away, Windows Security. Go away. All of you, go away. What is an output timer? Oh, that just turns OBS on. Oh my gosh. I should totally do that. I guess my hop camera is really blurry. I'm sorry. The blurry is blur. But if we go to this stream, oh look, it's nice and, and clear now. But if we go to this one, let's, let's sharpen it. Oh. Hold on. Sharpen. Oh, it's already been sharpened. Well, let's sharpen it some more then. That way. Hmm, I'm not impressed with that. I wonder, should I, um, oh no, I can't have two different camera resolutions on two different streams. My camera will go fuzzy and it'll have a panic attack. Poor little thing. It's already set at uh, 896 with the FPS 30. Let's configure the video. Ah, oh, let's turn up that sharpness. Sharpness, sharpness. Be an extra sharp. Oh. All right. Ooh. Will it make a difference? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think so. Oh, Helpingtons, what is that? Oh dear. Oh, nervous. What did you do? Oh, nervous. Put it back. Oh, nervous. Oh, it looks extra greeny now. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? You broke did it. You broke did it and now you're not practicing. So bad. Stop. Stop. Bad nervous. 
bad nervous. Stop breaking stuff. Just deal with your blurry camera and be nice. Okay. I should be thankful for the blur. I am thankful for the blur. The blur means that you can't see my face. Mmm. Cup of tea. Okay. Who is starting on now? Um, just a little bit. Um, well, I just, I, I made a new scene. And coffee table, nice to see you, I haven't seen you in a while. I made a new scene so that I could switch between close up of my giant head and my fat little tum tum. And, um, and then, you know, back to my nice leg cam. Where you see the whole heart and my little leggies. And, um, oh god, I look so hideous on camera. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, bye, Duke. So we can, but I wanted to set up an automatic doodle. What's that for? Oh, Duke, thank you. That's cheered me up. Thank you. Uh, I just, it, I know it's blurry, but coffee table, when I put the high resolution up on the, on the camera, it, uh, it, it makes my scenes go a bit funny. So I'm not sure, you know, if I should do that or not. Like, do I look alright even if I'm a little blurry? Let me see what I look like. What? I look like a mini. I'm gonna watch my own stream. I'm so blurry! I'm gonna watch my own stream. I'm so blurry! I'm gonna watch my own stream. Well, I guess it's better to be blurry than non blurry. Oh, okay. Well, if you see my face doing strange things, that's me trying to smile. I have some facial paralysis on this side, and um, and uh, and, and 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 this eye is my false eye. That's my false eye, and um, um, I I keep trying to smile when I'm playing, and I look like I'm having some type of stroke sometimes. Okay, I forgot what am I practicing. Oh, yes, I'm practicing the Mars. Let's go. Let's put on the ticky tick. Let's, uh, hold up, let's get a, a lovely... Let's get out the metronome.
much. You are the worst. I need to put my glasses on. I can't see. I've lost them. I don't know where they are now. Now I'm cold. Oh, I'm freezing. Oh, my hair is so messy. I did brush it. I swear I brushed this hair. Okay. Now, because nobody remembers, we have to do a cold. There we go. And another one because I said it twice. There we go. Right. Let's try and play some music and get some practice.
myself. I wouldn't practice this much if I didn't be mean to myself. I'd be too lazy. I'm nice to myself sometimes. When I deserve it. How could I just, how could I miss that? I'm just, I'm not doing very well. How, how's your day going? trying to do the Haydn. I'm like, and my teacher's like, what are you doing with the first note? It's not even that short. Apparently it's supposed to be like, but I keep doing what I'm supposed to do. My, my, my brain is like, yeah, 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 I think I know the difference, and then I just literally, I cannot. And then there's these weird brackets, where you, um, you 
the way you place three fingers like this, and then you slide up and do stuff like that. Um, so that's a complete pain in my butt, and I have to try it with the metronome, and the metronome distracts me. Like the metronome is supposed to help you, but it distracts me. I'm a little faster and then I might be able to join in with it. I don't know no I should keep it slow and learn to count this is Sesame Street you know Sesame Street stuff one two three four. yeah I, I should do that I should do oh, let me try that Two, three, four. Yeah, that might be a little less distracting. Let me try it, because I, kn I know I'm counting. So, I don't know what I'm counting. This, I don't know what I'm counting. It says common time, so that's four, four. Yeah, that's a great idea. I, um... <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know how to count this though. Am I counting quarter notes? One... Sh should it be a quarter note? Like uh... And that's worth one and a half. Oh my gosh. So who's some golden phrases by who? Me? Oh, I'm not a her. <laughs> you meant me. Right, I'm a they. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I say some really funny stuff. Sometimes. I mean, I don't mean to be funny, I just say it. All of these four need to be in this gap. Too quick? Oh, yeah, I like that. Try to get the right notes, you moron. That's better. That's a little better. So we're starting off here. Let's first walk on the left hand. Wait, no, that's, there's four beats in the bar. Oh, Christ almighty.
good job that you just did right there. That is not right. What are you doing, Elvis? You complete and utter spanner. It's B, C, and E, and A. So just two sixteenth notes might be easier. Yeah. Um, um. So this piece is in is in four four, and it, you know if I was gonna play it, what what would I do? When I, when I'm playing it, I'm like. Well, I mean, I try to be that speed. just changed the speed. They just changed it to like 33, which is a... Uh... Hold on a minute. What have we got? So, uh, let's put it on 16th. Let's see what it sounds like. How about this sound? That's not quite right. <laughs> oh. Now we're doing tiki toki tiki toki. How about that's not quite right. Just one of them? That would just take it back to, um, that would just take it back to what it was originally. Tone. Well, I've just done the, um, I've put it into um, subsets now. Let me put it back to quarters then. Oh god, I hate the metronome so much. Hope this counts as practice time, otherwise I'm going to have to do another hour to make up for it.
Where am I? between the beats. No, it's, it's four, four. Seven hits? Okay, that, that's, that's helpful. Okay, let's go back to the start of this uh, awful passage. So I'm gonna go like... on here, then it would be very painful for everybody's ears. 60. Can I read it from here? Can I get this a little closer to my tiny little eyeball? Okay, here we go. I'm sorry guys, we have a whole half an hour of this before we change pieces. And it's metronome all morning. It's met it's it's Metronome Friday, it's Metronome Monday, but we missed Metronome Monday, so... I 
Wait a minute. What am I counting? I'm counting sixteenths. practice and I'm just awful. I really am. It's an E. No, it's a C. I'm sorry. I'm sorry everybody. I'm such a moron.
sick. I hate you! Oh my god, what the fuck is your problem? There we go. Well, that was just awful. But it's nice to have a break, right? It's, li it's lovely to have a break. Let's ruin something else really quickly before we continue. Metronome. Relax with the metronome. Relax with the metronome. We're doing it. Thank you. 
I had a microwave. <laughs> why can't I read? Look, make it bigger. That's why we have Zoom. Don't be a spanner. Give yourself a day off. Spanner every day. Every day spanner.
I must be a complete imbecile. Stupid. student very very talented on a, on a lever harp and lever harps are a nightmare for me because I just you have to like I'm very lucky I get to change pedals and if I change pedal so this is this is my B pedal it changes all of them it changes all of them at the same time um, liver harpists have to change each string one by one. So you can imagine they're playing and like doing this. Like, it's amazing. It's it's a totally different skill. It's it's like it, you you should start with a pedal harp and then level up to a full sized lever harp. That's really difficult stuff. I wouldn't 
I wouldn't do it. I mean, when I play with Twinkie, I put it in one key and then I don't change any livers. I don't do liver changes. But it sure is fun. Okay, let's move on to our beautiful Pavan. Am I still online or did I um, somehow cancel everybody with my foul language? There I am. Twitch says nobody's here, so I guess Twitch is lying to me. There I am. There I am. I have to check. Yes! I know! Oh my gosh. Sadie! I know it's the worst, but it, it'll make you a better harpist. If you can do liver changes, you will be... A, a real pro. Oh, I'm cold. <clears throat> All right, here we go.
Did you go out, Quiggy? I do own a hairbrush, I swear. That is a B. That is a B for balls. B for balls, everybody. Welcome to Sesame Street. They don't raise their right arm. They, they rest it here like this. And, um, but they, they do very fluid gestures with this hand. So, you know. Um, but they don't, and they feel that they are compensating for the, the deep sound in the bottom by making it ring out longer. But the French hops are very, very sparkly in the top register very bright sounding so you don't really need 
to raise your right hand to pull the sound out of it. Um, and they prefer that method, whereas the Salzedo harpist, which is my harp school, our harps and the, the Chicago-built Lion and Healy harps have a very even tone, and they're not quite as sparkly in the top as a French Kamak harp, but the tone is more resonant, and you really you want to bring it out. And the German Horngacker harps, you really need strong fingers because that wood is very dense and very dark, and they're German harps, and they'll sound really muffled and quiet if you can't if you can't raise well and if you don't have strong fingers. I talk too much, I know. So let's just ignore that minor error. Doesn't matter. to get um, Come As You Are by Nirvana. I <laughs> have two hands down in the bass strings <laughs> so I could do the bass line for that song on the harp. I can also probably figure out the bass line for the pop by Tool. What would that be? So it's in... Um... That's an interesting one. Hey, it's 
naturalist. Yeah, the cells angle method um, really encourages that you don't put your strength in your wrists, that you put it in your forearms, which is why it's um, a very, it's, so basically Salzado observed a dancer, a ballerina in fact, and um, he chose movements for the harp that would bring out the sound, but eliminate necessary French flapping, like, you know, you see French harpists and they're like, flap my arm around and um, like they're doing the dying swan or something. So it, it, just doing this raising uh, with a supple wrist, but the strength coming from your forearms and keeping your shoulders relaxed, that keeps your back straight and it, your arm is only moving in the direction that the joint allows it to, you're not forcing it to do anything else. Um, I think that's one way of explaining it. So it's a. Uh... Oh dear me. So where were we? We were trying to play tool, or we shouldn't be. Let's play very softly. So we don't hurt anybody's ears. Yes, brain, sight reading, good job. You're still playing way too high in the strings. Why, um, why are my hands so high in the strings? <laughs> that is an F and that is a B. No, that was wrong. From the F. From the F. Really hard to memorize this piece. Such a melon. naughty words. And reach. Is, all I have to do is open my hand. I don't have to move my arms anywhere. Put my hand down. I don't have to make unnecessary movements with my hand. Just gonna land on the strings that I need. Oh, you fucked that up good. 
good, haven't you? Don't worry, we'll try again. We'll just carry on and pretend it didn't happen. It was just a, a pedal fart. Oh God, no, 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 you've got to put the F down. No, 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 you, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. I'm always doing it wrong. Hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. That's my job, do it wrong. B for balls. And an F. Really? Only three notes? Okay, fine. Put the F back. And the B. I'm doing a great job. I am a capable person. I am a capable human. I can do stuff. I'm sight reading. Oh, thank you. Oh, I lost my shoe. Oh, there it is. Would you like to switch back so you don't have to look at my head anymore? Here we go. Oh, I didn't put the heating on. Let's have a tea break. I'll put the heating on and I'll bring some more tea. What is wrong with this microphone? It keeps tipping itself over. Stop doing that, you knob. Literally, it is a knob. It's a knob and it just keeps knobbing to one side. Don't knob. Right. Okay. Just gonna put the heating on. We'll get a cup of tea.
Tim's necktie. Show everybody your necktie. Head up. See, so look, it's Christmassy. Christmas necktie. Oh yeah, here he is. He's a lovely boy. We love him. He comes out like come to the supermarket. He is actually trained as a service animal. But um, I haven't had any, you know, I haven't been going out. So obviously he doesn't get to do much work because his job is to watch out with my eyesight and my panic. My panic attacks, like if I space out in the middle of somewhere, like walk me to the sidewalk so I don't get run over in the middle of the road and um, just generally be, take the attention away from me and uh, jump around with my medicine in his pack, like take your medicine you crazy old cow. And uh, he's a very good boy. Okay, so back to practice. I look better with bangs. Super stretchy. Let's practice this very ending bit. So we're gonna grab this bit and we're gonna go D G. Oh, curtains, remember? Closing the curtains. Make sure that finger comes all the way in.
Yes, that's a really serious problem, having a double, being double jointed. Like a lot of people will say you you will struggle at an advanced level if you're double jointed. And I was really scared that I was double jointed. Um, but I do have a little bit of flexibility in my fingers, uh, but I'm not double jointed. Um, Per se, I'm just. I don't think I'm double jointed. My teacher says it, it's it's really close, but um, uh, that she doesn't think I'm double jointed. How do you how do you check if you're double jointed? How does someone check if they're double jointed in general? Is there like um you know, if you could bend your finger backwards this far, you're double jointed. Is that a thing? Ooh, I love tea. Okay, so I can do this thing where I bend my arm that way. Put my tea over here. Pray to God that the mic stand doesn't collapse. Right? Yeah. I'm now gonna sit here and Google it. I didn't put my earpiece on. Where's my headset? Here we go. Sorry, I used this headset because I used the text to speech on my computer and um Why have we got no audio? Ah, right. choice of words. I could have said a lot worse. I could have said a lot worse. Very much 
much on Pavan today, are we? So. things. What's your profanity? Indeed. It's 7.48. I really can't be buggered anymore. I really want to play Christmas music. I really want to play Christmas music. I want to play Christmas music. But I must, I must continue. I must continue. So we get this far. We're doing really well, actually, for a very unfocused day. We are doing exceptionally well. And I'll tell you why we're doing exceptionally well. Because despite all the swearing, we have actually memorized more than we thought we had. And that's a wonderful thing. So, when you feel like your day is totally unfocused and you, you don't feel like you've done anything productive, um, there are things that you have done that you just didn't notice. So don't feel down, okay? You know, I thought I was having a totally unfocused day and it was going to be a terrible practice, but I just realized that when I play these chords, they feel more familiar. And I'm starting to remember what comes next. And that means that I'm learning by ear. And that's very important. So even if I, I didn't manage to sight read the whole thing, even if I didn't sight read the whole thing, it means that I still made some progress. 
And even if I make mistakes, it's okay, you know? It, Last, uh, last week or even two weeks ago's video, we're going to see a wonderful, a wonderful harpist improvement. And um, it, it's really exciting when we get to do that. Because... Because it shows you just how far you can come. And I mean you, because it doesn't have to be harp. You can do anything. If you want to become a bodybuilder, or a beer brewer, or a writer, or a, I don't know, programmer, or a, anything. If you want to become an anything. too late for you to do stuff, it's not too late, they're just talking out of their ass. You might have to make some adjustments, you know, you might have to send your kids to an orphanage and divorce your husband or whatever. I don't have any children. I'm, I'm very lucky, I, I don't have kids. Yay! <laughs> I am single. But, uh, you might lose all your friends. But that's okay if you're doing what you love because you can make a huge, great, big difference in the world. And that is the, uh, that is my harpist pep talk for today. Yes, Spyro. Because, you know, when you want to become a professional musician and you're a little later in life, you don't have time for sticky fingers and, you know, head lice and I need Beyblade cards and help, I've got a fork stuck up my nose. You know, you, you don't have time for that. If you're serious about it, you don't have time for it. So bye children, goodbye. Isn't that what grandparents are for though? If you have children, you just leave them with the grandparents, right? Grandma loves you. Bye-bye. Beautiful. See, we're being very nice to ourselves now. Very, very nice to ourselves. So, you know, you can be mean to yourself all the time. But sometimes it's, it's nice to be nice to yourself. And then, you know, you lull yourself into a full sense of security and you make a great big mistake and then suddenly scream that you're a great big pickle fart or some other obscenity. And, um, <laughs> and then you kind of surprise yourself like, oh, I'm so horrible. But that, that shakes the mistake out, it really does. Yeah, so it's, I mean, you know, if you're going to have children, then do the children thing. Don't lump them on people that don't want them. Or get rid of them. Or don't have them in the first place. That is the best thing. And you know what the best thing is? The best thing is to adopt. Don't. Don't. Don't shop. Just adopt. Uh, no, don't. It's not even shopping, is it? It's, um... I'm trying to think of a nice way to phrase it. Who's that? Coffee table. I, I always pay attention to you.
Thirties are the new twenties, yeah. All right, guys, let's do some Christmas songs, because Spyro is here, and Spyro doesn't visit very often. Are you there, Spyro? Would you like a little bit of Christmas music? Let's do a Christmas song real quick. Um, let's see. on my harpist magic. When I'm a good harpist and uh, I feel that I have something wonderful to, to gift a child, I want to adopt somebody that needs some meaning in their life. And, um, and then I will teach them music and, and, you know, and they won't have sticky fingers and they'll probably be a teenager and they'll probably hate me most of the year and that's cool because you know, when they're shut up in their room, it gives me some time on my own. Um, and I will feed them because, you know, I like to cook. And it'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. And they'll, they might want to learn the harp. They might not want to learn the harp. They might want to learn the bass guitar. And, and then I'll say, cool, I'll buy you a bass guitar. I'll buy you all the bass guitars if I have the money. And I want to be able to, to have cups of tea and steal their cigarettes and, you know, just have a generally nice time with my almost grown-up child.
know where it is. Okay, it's eight o'clock. That means we get to move on to Fiskars. We have we have done enough combining for today. Um, it was very unsuccessful. Not a lot of progress. A lot of distractions. you know with the free kids meals and the thing like that and it would be like 300 300 pounds well back in the 90s 300 pounds per person so she'd have saved up like with a little bit of spending money she'd have saved up maybe a thousand five hundred um or something maybe two thousand yeah she'd save up around two thousand pounds and it would take her like three or four years to save that money just to take us on holiday to give us those international experiences.
Can you get a handy cam close up on that? You want a handy cam close up? I'll give you a handy cam close up. Here we go. That's my head. Hi there. What is happening here? Okay. I want to cross under and go up the harp here. So from here I want to go. But if I do this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do that. So what do I need to do? Tilt the hand, bring up the elbow, keep the shoulder relaxed though. This is very hard. And then fall onto the string. But don't be too close to the soundboard. So let's work backwards, right? So we want to be here. We want to be at a place here. So if we work backwards, Oh my gosh, coffee table, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, honestly, my parents did take us a lot of places, even if it was just day trips out. And my parents were very strict, you know. If you were naughty, she would, she would spank your ass in public. Like literally, you know, back of the leg smack and embarrass you in front of everybody. So we learned to be really good. My parents were of the mentality that children should be seen and not heard. So here we're gonna do. Now let's get in there quickly. This is really tricky here. So the problem now is that we don't have enough space. So if I'm gonna put my finger down here, and then what I'm gonna do is when I cross under, I'm gonna slide it up. So. Elbow up, finger down, slide up the harp string. And we're going to try that a few times, and it's a little bit boring. Hey there, guitar shredder. So, um, yes, we, I bought an iPad stand, right? And, um, it's literally a round base stand, but I have an iPad Pro. And the iPad Pro, um, let me show you. Uh, let me change cameras. I haven't set up, I want to set up a scene transition doodah thing. But basically, the stand that I bought was not weighted enough. It was not, uh, it, it just, it fell over, right? Because I have to have the iPad at such an angle with the arm completely out. So what I did, let's switch to my other scene. Doo -doo. There we go. What I did was I used an old lampstand and I wrapped ribbon around it. You can see it on the very left there. And uh, I put ribbon around, I, I, I put the bendy arm from the stand that I bought inside the metal column of the weighted lampstand for one of those umbrella lamps that hangs behind the sofa like this. And I used the bendy arm and I covered it in ribbon to make it look nice. And, um, yeah. And, and now I suck a book. Yeah, lovely. And now, and now we have this creation that I made. And it's very, it's very fashionable looking. It's got ribbons on it. And it, it looks very girly and, and, and elegant and lovely. And, uh... Now we go back to my giant head. 
And I still need to zoom in a billion times, but what we're doing here is we have two cams on the go. We're going to use the handy cam here. Oh, see, there you go. There you go, Shredder. You can see that's my lamp. That's, a, that's an old lamp stand <laughs> with a bendy arm. <laughs> And there's my monitor, so I can read the chat. Yeah, because my eyesight is so bad, I, I need it to be that big in order to read it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pop you guys here. So what we're dealing with is a, a bit of a fingering issue. So this is fine, right? But when we get up here, we don't want to be, you need to relax the shoulder, I think. And then we're going to have to slide the finger up the string for that cross under. And I kind of want to just fall. I don't want to force my hand onto the string. I want to fall onto the string. See, and, and then I end up on the wrong notes. So what we're doing is just practicing how far to slide in order to fall on naturally. Without being too close to the sample, because it's very narrow. That's very narrow. I have very tiny hands, but here we've got about, let's see, this is a 3.5 inch heel. This is a very tiny little gap. Okay, my shoe heel is bigger than this gap. That's, that's tiny and you want to be able to articulate your fingers and you need to keep this space. You need to keep this space open because this is what allows you to, to make, uh, to, to articulate the thumb. If you, this gap is too tight, your thumb has nowhere to go. i put my shoe back on. Your thumb has nowhere to go right now. But look, you know, I'm stuck, right? I've got no space for it. So I'm going to have to place lower in the string and then slide up. And this scale is very fast. You know, it should go something like... Why don't I use that hand? Well, because I need to jump down here to do another one. And my teacher specifically told me she wants me to use this hand because it's good practice. I need to get it quicker though. I need that speed, right? And it's a little bit boring so we can um, be right. It's the cross under. Please feel free to invoke the Ted Cam if you want to see Teddy pump in. He's taking a nap. There's nothing new about that. It's, it's not quite as amusing as Guitar Shredder's Cat Cam. Can I get a shout out for Shredder, please? Coffee table? My favorite guitar streamer. Dan's a doobie wotty. I love that piece. I put my music on in the background because I know this is terribly boring to listen to and I don't want you to be too bored, but I do want you to enjoy my, uh, my cursing and swearing. You want to see a what? Yeah, Shredder, I love your stream. It's really educational. And it's a good laugh, too. There we go. from the top here. I'm going to show you some harp harmonics.
then we want piano, piano, super piano. Pee pee. Here we go. And then we get louder. when I start, just to kind of preemptively move. Ah, maybe I should place higher. Maybe that's not going to work. There we go. There you go. Don't worry about the notes being wrong. Just worry about getting the slide in there. It's a real tricky one. I think my teacher is going to be proud of me if I get this. Uh, please join us all for the 36 hour stream on the 17th. Mm. Well, if you like that, would you like to see my bar? Don't forget the bar, everybody. Hi there. Welcome to the bar. Let's stream from the bar for a bit, huh? So I can look at the music. Here we go. That's shitty. because my teacher specifically told me not to do that. Let me know if you want any song requests or Christmas stuff. Some song requests are available and so is Christmas stuff. I will, I will just improvise Christmas songs. If I know it, I will improvise it. What is going on with these cross-unders? Okay, wrist turning.
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm putting my votes on YouTube now. But this is the Twitch schedule is, uh... Oh, I gotta update that to add an extra hour, I think. Oh yeah, well, there we go. Oh dear, hold on. My first performance, yeah! and then when the guests leave and during the intermission
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Bootsy's coming to our show. We're gonna stream it. We'll stream some of it, I think. practicing some uh, cross unders. You can request a music test if you like from the redeems and then you can test me on a scale or an arpeggio and I wish more people would do that. If you like if you don't have enough points to redeem one, you can just tell me what you'd like to hear for a scale or an arpeggio and I'll do my best. Mm, T. Unfortunately, I don't know what the F blues scale sounds like, but I can try it. Teal F, huh? Blues, huh? Hmm. Is it gonna be like this? Hold on a minute, I gotta cross under. I can do a regular F, I can do a regular scale. that it sounds like this. That sounds kind of bluesy, right? Or maybe I just 
skip the G. something new. the beginning of it. 
Now I'm going to give you a hand cam. Here you go. Let's have a look at the hand cam. Make sure you can see the pedals. So, there we go again. We'll do it again. Bootsy, be careful. Park Stickney and ask him. A F blues scale on the harp. Someone requested one in my channel and I wasn't sure if I play the B string twice. Then natural pedal. When to cross under. Okay, we're gonna ask Park Stickney. We're going to ask Park Stickney. How do you play an F blue scale on the harp? Someone requested one in my channel and I wasn't sure if I play the B twice with a flat and a natural pedal or use B flat, C in flat and then C natural and then I didn't know when to cross under. the greatest jazz harpist of all times. And it's now 8.41, so let us now work on Haydn for a little bit. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me something new. And thank you, Learn. Thank you, Learn. Let's, before we, before we work on the Haydn for a few minutes, uh, and remember, we have 36 hours stream coming up. 36 hours of Haydn. Hide and seek. We will be writing this down in our diary for today. So let us just pop in the diary. Uh, focus was all right today. It waned. So we did. We learned. We learned a blues scale. And it is, it's in F, and it goes like, 
F. And then it goes E flat. And then it goes. Oh, wait, no. F. <laughs> F. Uh, A flat. B flat. B. C. No D. E flat. F. That's great. All right, let's work on some Christmas music. Have I got legs? Yes, I have legs. Did you want to see my head or let me let me move you over to the other view. There we go. There you go.
Teddy Poppin. to be able to switch off the music and change the music to the teddy cam. Um, I might do that. I could do that. We will, we will see. Uh, how to get that working. I'll do a little bit of experimenting later. Okay. I've done the hawk, it's Harold.
Thank you. 
It sounds terrible when I play it. What do you play? What's your instrument?
Even with my glasses, I can't really see what my hands do, so I make a lot of mistakes. But I want to be a professional one day, so I'm trying to beat the odds. My whole stream is about beating the odds.
YouTube in the chat, please. Or I'll just pop it in myself. Hey there, Scammer! You, Rube. Oh, there you go. This piece that we're currently listening to was the bane of my existence for like six months last year. And it was for my first ever competition. I found out that I got a score of 246, I think, out of 300. And the whole time I thought that I had a score that was only 86. And you know why I thought that? Because I'm stupid and I only read the first score sheet. I didn't realize there were two others. So anyway, what did we learn today, everybody? Well, in this morning's practice, we, we learned a blue scale. Pavan. We practiced, but were unfocused but we're unfocused. And you can use Japanese or Korean in my chat. Uh, nice finger strengthening. This stream is about learning. So following my journey. Every day for eight hours a day. I'm focused, I'm just finger strengthening. And memorization. Demas. Great metronome work at 60 BPM. Uh, do the same tomorrow. And then for Fiskars, I we practiced moving up with a cross under in upper octaves. Then we did some 
got raided. So we did uh, Rue. Rue and Little Fountain. This is my harp music in the background. And um, Christmas tunes. So I guess I'll see you all later. I'm kind of tempted if we have one more Christmas request, we could do one more Christmas request. If there's no more Christmas requests, we will head on out to a lovely raid to make friends. Um, there's a Korean person who plays the cello and she's so nice, but she has so many people, she wouldn't even notice us. I think we'll go with, uh, let's see, I'm going to take us to the lovely Chero Pepero, I think. If this, it's alright, if, if nobody in the chat wants a Christmas song, we can just do a little raid, it's fine. We'll just go. We'll just go. I love, I love all of you guys. And don't forget. Oh, what a waste. We're back at 1 p.m. This is an eight hour practice streamer. We'll see you at 1 p.m. Central Time. And then we have a concert tomorrow. If you'd like to look at our stats, this is our, our monthly average. We do two streams a day. Here we go, there's yesterday's morning. We learnt two chords. We had some sight reading. Oh, we did Le Riviere exercises. Sorry, excuse me. We, we did Le Riviere as well. Let's pop that in. Good, just put good. There we go. So, I think we're off. I will see you guys uh, on my weekend stream or back at 5 a.m. Central Time. Please check my schedule, it's always up to date. Um, you are all wonderful people and uh, you you all make me very happy. And you all have wonderful talents and wonderful personalities and I'm really grateful that you came to see me. And now we're going to go share our cheerfulness with Chero Peppero and she's going to sing some songs for us. Oh, Scanner, we're on a raid, love. <laughs> so, meet the girls up the whole planet, and I got all my master. We'll push us a tumor of Pansamida. Tumor of Pansamida, eat a gabayo. Are we reading? Are we going? What the name? I don't think we're going anywhere. <laughs> Is it? Should I just sing for you until we leave? <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody! I don't know how to make it work. Are we going? I think we're going. Bye! Am I there? Should I stop streaming? <laughs> <laughs>